Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping, to the Green Aqua Gallery. Oh my, I didn't say that for a long, long time. I think I started the Green Aqua channel by saying that about one year ago. And then we had 3,000 subscribers. Today, we have 75,000 subscribers. Thanks to you guys, you are great. Thanks for staying here with us. And with this episode, we're closing the first season of the Green Aqua YouTube uh, video series. And we're gonna take a three week pause. In those three weeks, you guys can see all our previous videos. So you're not gonna lose the quality content that uh, we're presumably showing you. So, uh, but today, before we go away for the vacation here, for the summer vacation here, we're gonna start the timer on my watch here because we're gonna have a 15 minute session presenting you the Green Aqua Gallery. Here we go. Do you think that I'm gonna stay in the studio? No, let's get out of here. Cause I'm gonna show you what we're doing. We always started working here in the studio when we were building small aquariums and stuff. And then after we shut the video, I'm gonna take you to my very own small personal space here. This is my office here. And these are the three monitors that I'm always using when I'm working. I'm spending most of the time in this little office here. That monitor is for Tinder. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's for personal stuff. This is where Victor keeps bugging me with, with all, the, uh, all the requirements and comments. Don't say that, don't do that. YouTube will not allow auctions uh, in the comments, etc., etc. The video will be banned if you say that and that. So he, he keeps bugging me with all kinds of stuff. Here, however, that's where the most important stuff takes place. This is the timeline for the latest video here, for the video from last week with Peter Roscoe. On there, guys, that's where I keep contact with you on the third monitor right there. Your comments are really, really important to me because YouTube has grown a lot and it has grown a lot because of you guys, as I said at the beginning. And it's very, very important for us to get as much feedback as possible from you. Because if we get that, then it keeps us going. And while I'm working there, I'm looking at this. We have three koi here. Two of them are directly from Japan. They're really nice and I can feed them here. They're always coming here when I'm, you know, I'm feeding them. You can even touch them and caress them. And then we have a nice waterfall here. Oh, it's, it's raining. We're gonna get back. Chubby, where were you going? Come back here. <laughs> shop area is is the place where you guys if you visit the gallery you can buy all kinds of goods and we organize these goods by not brands but by usage so for example here we have all the uh, trace elements and all the other Seachem and uh, Easy Life and Danile and Tropica and fertilizers etc another fertilizer shelf here we've got some internal filters here I'll take the usual a sneak peek to what we're gonna do in the next season. I think we're gonna talk about lights because many of you guys have, request, uh, have requested that. And we're gonna talk about CO2 as well because that was also something that many of you have already requested. And here's my friend, Bruce. He always wants to go upwards. So if you have a chameleon, you have to learn that you need to place your hand upwards. <laughs> This, this is another Green Aqua tutorial. I can't work without doing a tutorial for you guys. The other social person that we have is Gruber, our nice beetle fish. This is a low tech tank, no CO2 in it. This is the ADA shelf. Green Aqua has started presenting this brand 10 years ago in Hungary and we are really proud to have known Mr. Takashi Amano personally and to take his spirit and the nature aquarium spirit and the planted tank spirit on and to, to build you nice uh, planted tanks. Here we have some small uh, Daniel and Nano and other uh, Vita uh, Nano tanks, which is really nice. And this is quite a special aquarium here. This is a round aquarium that you can go around and there's a bonsai tree on top, orange jessamine, but also you will find that in the description for the respective video later. And as we go on, this is the aquarium that everybody sees when they enter Green Aqua. 
This is the main entrance of Green Aqua. We have plenty of parking spots for you guys who arrive here by car. And we have a huge building just for us, just for you guys, aqua aquascapers. So when you come here, you will have plenty of space to chill. I'll take the usual. Check these out. This is one. I'm gonna bring the other one here. That is the other one. This is what we got from Tommy's friends for the Green Aqua 10 year birthday. Here we have the terrarium part and I wanna give a big shout out to Oaza for sponsoring this channel. And this is an Oaza Highline tank and Oaza cabinet underneath. It's a beautiful thing and we uh, set it up to be a terrarium and we have dart frogs in it. The most exciting part is the gallery. And the gallery has 12 show tanks and you can see all the 12 show tanks here. Tank number one is made by Victor. This is a nice forest cape and the forest cape is made by rotalas and all kinds of mosses and pinotifida ferns. So it's a really nice tank and you've got the ONF light above it. While we're here, I'm gonna talk about what are our plans for the future. First of all, at the beginning of October, and we're gonna post uh, the uh, dates for you guys, Josh Sim, another legend from Malaysia is coming. And he's an IAPLC winner, and he's the winner of many, many competitions, and one of the most uh, inspiring aquascapers that I know. So it's a really a huge honor for us to have him in the gallery, to escape a tank, and also to have a um, contest workshop. Second thing that uh, is going to happen later, it's going to be the Chris Lukaup workshop, and he's going to have a sh the, he's the Shrimp King, as you probably know, and uh, that workshop is going to be sponsored by Denele. We're going to have the uh, Italian friends coming over and also have a workshop. There are many nations and, and uh, who have really talented aquascapers. Italians were not featured on our channel yet. This is a classic Ivagumi. It was built by me and it has uh, Monte Carlo almost all over the place. This tank was also really nice, thanks Cape by Victor and Tommy, another Green Aqua team member. And the next tank here is made by Felipe Oliveira. Well, Felipe is the greatest and funniest aquascaping master in the Green Aqua history, I guess. <laughs> This tank here was inspired by Mr. Takashi Amano. We were in 2013 in Niigata in Japan with my business partner and friend Victor. And uh, we were really inspired by one tank, an 180p tank there. Another big surprise for next season would be the 450 aquarium. This is a 450 aquarium, which has a special hardscape that we got from Aqua Deco. We're making this project together with a surprise guest who's a really, really famous graphic artist. And you could actually hear about her uh, in connection with an IAPSC winning work. Okay, this is all I, I can tell you now. We've got the 60Ps over there and you've got a 60H over there. I'm not gonna show you all because you will have all aquariums here and we, we shot a couple of videos about them. The, the back aquarium is made by Yuris. This one is made by me, also me here. And this is the Aqua Girls Rock. When we started this YouTube channel with 3000 subs, we wanted to have live events for you guys. But those live events were really popular, but they didn't start the, the whole channel. But then we started having help with it. I had first Tommy who was helping us with uh, the subtitles and the transcription of the videos. And then we had Patty, Peter, who was helping us with editing the videos. And then we had uh, Chubby, obviously, who was helping us with the camera work. So the team has grown. When we started, Victor told me, okay, Balaj, you gotta do a video series on YouTube and uh, let's, let's start this exciting venture and let's see where it takes us in about six months. And here we are, one year later, I'm still standing. You guys are telling us what you like, giving us ideas, positive critics. So, I don't know, do we wanna see the fish quickly? Yeah, let's go, move back.
This is the beta holding tank, which is really popular. The filtration for this tank is behind it. So actually you've got a nice water circulation and a very strong biological filtration. We've got quite a few nice shrimp and when the crystal cup is coming, the shrimp king is coming, then uh, you will obviously uh, know more about the different shrimp types that we have here. He's going to talk about shrimp in detail in the next season. And here we have the 106 or 107 year old aquarium, which belonged to the grand grandfather of Attila. It's a sewing machine table right below it. This is the vintage corner of Green Aqua. I just have to be cool, looking like I'm clean. Here we have the Hardscape Dojo, obviously. We've got two places where we can uh, work with Hardscape. And we've got all the rocks and all the wood in the background. And obviously we've got all the fish. Probably my best tank so far. This is what I'm most proud of. Follow me, let's go back to the uh, main gallery here. Some say that This is the, the place where I usually just sit down and think of uh, what kind of new ideas you guys would want to see on the Green Aqua YouTube channel. And I would like to encourage you to please come and help us produce quality content for you. And you can do that by two means. One of them is feedback, which I told you many, many times, it's really important for us. I'm just sitting here together uh, with a camera and chubby behind it, I'm talking to a lens here. So when I'm reading the comments, it's mostly me who's answering almost all comments. So I'm, I'm, I really want to know what you think. I really want to know how you think about it. You guys keep telling me if the sound is bad, the quality is, is, is too high, the quality is too low, the, the level, sound level is too high or the sound level is too low. You keep telling me not to wear gloves. Uh, I keep wearing gloves. Sorry, I'm going to protect my hands. Not, let's not get into the glove hating thing because I'm going to get it again. <laughs> and you observe everything. If I multiply six by 60 by 5 and, and I, it turns out to be uh, 350 then you also comment that and you got you make memes I really love that and I have a I hopefully have a nice and a good sense of humor so I'm gonna understand your jokes in the comments as well and the second thing that you can do is if you like the channel please spread the word because you have no idea how important it is for you guys to help us to promote aquascaping and, and, and among your friends, family members, etc., etc. So all you have to do is share what we do and then more and more people will come to the channel. And this is how we're gonna break ground and this is how we can promote quality, good, sustainable aquascaping and beautiful aquariums above all. So I think this was it for the 2018 and 2019 season. As I told you in the beginning, we're gonna have a three week break. You guys can rewatch all the videos. We have 60 plus videos with uh, almost 20 million minutes, view minutes in there, which is absolutely wow thanks to you. So you can do that in the meantime, and I'm gonna be preparing the 450 aquarium, which is gonna be hopefully a contest level aquarium uh, together with uh, an artist friend of mine who I'm not gonna talk about now. And uh, I'll see you in three weeks. Just want your sunny days. Have a nice vacation, have a nice summer. Just want Bye. Your sunny days.